Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. It's hammer time. What's up, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, and here we are, back by popular demand, with another action figure review. So today we have Warhammer, War, War, Warhammer, uh, McFarlane Gold Label, another Gold Label addition to add to my collection. Um, here's the side art, Blood, Blood. Angels Primaris Lieutenant. That's the name of this guy. Uh, Warhammer 40,000. 40K. Um, here's the back. Um, I think this is the variant, right? I'm pretty sure. There's a, there, I, I can't keep up with all the variants, man. I don't know if this is the original. I don't think it is, being that it is a gold label. Uh, here are some of the other figs you can get right here, man. I don't know why anybody would want a pa uh, unpainted one, maybe to customize them. If you guys know, let me know. I have no idea what's up with that one. Here's Hellblaster right here with the blue helmet. Interesting. And then here's this guy right here. Adepta Soritos Battle Sister, which looks pretty awesome. Uh, if I find that figure, I might pick it up. Okay, I found this at my local Walmart on a toy hunt that you guys will see later on in the future. Uh, cause recently I just did, uh, <laughs> I just, I just recently did a toy hunt video. So I found this guy after I released that toy hunt video. So you'll see him in an upcoming toy hunt video. Anyways, let's go ahead and take him out. Let's get to the reviewing cause I am as anxious as you guys are. If you guys didn't see some of my last reviews, here is Batman right here, Arkham City Batman, and then there is the Guardian Predator. If you guys didn't see that, check him out. We'll do some comparisons as always. Let's pop him open. And he is one heavy, heavy guy. Okay, man. Okay, he's tied up in there, bro. So, loving the artwork right there, if you guys can see that. The side artwork, that's really, really dope. Love that right there. Um, Let's take this guy out, see what he's tied up to. So, he's tied up here in the back. All right, you know what, guys? Let's uh, let's jump forward. See this guy already out the package because he seems to be pretty well tied up in there. So let's not waste any of our precious time. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so it's a good thing we did skip forward, guys, because it took me an entire five minutes to take this guy out the package. He was he was in there, dude. He was really really in there. Um, of course, here's the back uh, background right here, the cardboard back piece. There's the signature McFarlane Black Spear of a Stan. Has Warhammer 40,000. 40,000 leagues under the sea. Actually, it's 20,000 leagues, but who's counting? So here is... I already forgot this guy's name, bro. Blood Angels Primaris Lieutenant. Okay. And he's a heavy guy. Uh, he does have some really nice weight to him. So let's do a little close-up. Let's lower my camera just a little bit. So we can do a better review of this. A more professional review. <laughs> uh, if you come to the place where uh, you're expecting a professional review, you're, <laughs> you're sadly out of luck. Okay, so let's start at his head, guys. Very, very nicely detailed. Kind of a... It's not even a gold. It's like a flat gold color. Green eyes. The gold right here. I wish they would have used some real gold because this gold is just kind of crappy looking. Actually, this gold is kind of looks different as opposed to this gold right here. Looks a little different. It looks a little bit more shinier where this looks a little, little bit more plasticky. Plasticier, if there is such a word. Same thing with his head as well. And this gold is a little bit different too. You can tell, you know what the difference is, is if you look at this gold right here, there's metal flaking on this gold. 
Same thing with right here, and then you come up to his head, and I think they forgot to do the metal flaking on his head and his shoulder pad right here. So that's the that's the difference between the gold right there. I don't know if it's just my figure or if it's all the figures. If it is all the figures, why the hell did they do that? I have no idea. Uh, they even put they put the gold flaking on right here. You can see the differences between the gold. So if you guys know, let me know. If you guys have this figure, let me know. So, there's that my one gripe already with this figure. So, as far as articulation is concerned, <laughs> his arm popped off, but it can pop back in. Arm can't really lift up that much because of the shoulder pads. No double jointed uh, arms. Um, does have the ball joint wrist. Does have a uh, swivel right there at the uh, bicep. That's pretty dope. Uh, torso swivel, a little bit of a waist swivel, mostly torso swivel. It's on a ball joint. Nice, nice. Me likes. Uh, his feet can't really kick out because of the design of this figure. Once again, McFarlane makes these figures. I said it time and time again, spe specifically with the armored figures, like the Doom figure, where he just creates these designs and... They just completely hindered his articulation, guys. Um, there is some bleeding. For once, there's one one thing, one great thing about McFarlane is there's no bleeding, but there's every now and then you might catch a couple of splotches here and there, but there's some bleeding right there on his black belt. Uh, knee, pretty nice bend right there, but once again, there's no double jointedness. His leg is kind of loose right there. I like the... Yeah, see, it's open for like a 90 degree bend. Obviously, see the knee right there. So you you could, it is double jointed, but once again, it's just kind of hindered by the design of the figure. You know what I mean? I just never understood why McFarlane and other toy companies as well, you know, give us the, the amazing articulation and then they hinder it uh, by creating this armor, which just fucks up the entire articulation of the figure. Uh... Ankle movements, no really ankle swivel because, like I said, once again, it's just the design of this figure just kind of messes up the articulation for for this figure. Overall, he's a nice looking figure. There's the back. So he comes with this backpack right here, I'm guessing because he flies. I've never played the game right. It's based on a video game. Um, never played Warhammer, so here is the back right there. So yeah, that's a nice, nice addition. I like that. <laughs> kind of reminds me of, uh, of Hulkbuster. So that right there, putting that shit on his back, he just throws him off balance. So you have to get him to tip over in order for him to stand up, which I don't like that at all, guys. But he does come with a stand. I don't know how much difference that will make but yeah see so if you want them to get them if you want them to stand you have to put put them up against something like this backboard right here so warhammer um i have no idea what this goes to guys let me see is there some kind of attachments right here what right here maybe right there kind of looks like it so he comes with a few accessories as far as weapons. He comes with this amazing looking gun. Very nicely detailed, big, chunky gun. I like that a lot. And then he comes with this awesome looking freaking sword. So let's get some weapons into his hand so maybe I'll feel a little bit different. And if you're wondering about the gold, there is gold flaking on this gold piece. But this gold piece right here, there's no gold flaking at all. So yeah, it kind of boggles my mind. So here's the trigger finger right here. So let's put the gun into his hand like so. And his hands are somewhat like a rubberized hard rubber. So yeah, that's good. So there is this guy holding the gun. The blood angel. Let's pop the sword into his hand. Let's see how well he holds the sword. You might have to warm up this hand in order to get to get the sword in there but ain't nobody got time for that ain't nobody got time for that 
I love his weapons, dude. The weapons kind of saves this figure, dude. This beautiful looking sword right here. Let me put my camera up just a little bit to get the sword into frame. So yeah, the sword looks really, really good. The gun looks really great in his hands. Uh, his head is its just on a swivel, dude. There's no ball joint, just on a swivel. It's a hollow, hollow piece right there for the head. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you could probably switch out a head. You necessarily don't have to use his head, so... But there he goes. Uh, yeah, definitely the accessories for this guy definitely saves this figure. This backpack looks great, but it just kind of weighs him down. So you can't really get him to stand straight. Well, maybe you could. Maybe if you tilt his boots. Okay. Yeah, if you tilt his boots, yeah, you could probably... Yeah, you can get him to stand. Okay. It's just about angling his feet right to where he can stand straight. Okay, so we'll 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 uh, add a point to that. We'll I deducted a point, so we'll add a point to that. His weapons is definitely an upgrade. Uh, makes this uh, figure looks really make this makes this figure look really really awesome. Um, the weapon doesn't really go with this guy. I feel like he needs like a different color weapon, man. Because well, maybe no, maybe not. Because the black does go with the black, but this right here, this could have been painted red it's just simply because it's just to go with his whole, his, whole, his whole overall theme. But I'm pretty sure this is accurate to the character himself. So let's do a little measurement, guys. We'll do some comparisons. I'm going to go ahead and give you my rating. So Warhammer all the way up to our Warham Warhammer Blood Angel. This guy stands at about seven and one fourth tall. All the way up to his backpack spike, he's just a little bit over 8 inches tall. So here he is with the last figure that I reviewed of Arkham Knight Batman. You can definitely tell it's by the same person, McFarlane. It's, it has that same feel to it, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't mistake this for a Hasbro, you can't mistake, mistake this for a NECA figure. It is a McFarlane figure. Here he is with the Guardian Predator. If you guys want to see that, check it out. That's how he measures up. Okay, guys, so let me give you my rating. So I, I will add a point because he has some cool accessories. Uh, I will deduct a point because uh, this right here, I don't like the plastic gold. I wish it would have gold flaked them. I mean, you can customize them for all you customizers out there. Same thing with this piece right here. There's really no gold flaking on it. It's just kind of a gold plastic piece. Same thing with this piece back here. So, yeah, man. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be generous simply because he's a nice designed figure. Nice weapons. Nice sword. Overall, he's a nice looking piece. Um, so, I'm going to give him a 7. A 7 out of 10. I'm being very generous, guys. Um... I think if you guys are fans of Warhammer, you'll probably be somewhat satisfied, I guess. Uh, like I said, I'm not too familiar with the storyline or with this character at all. I do like the overall theme. He kind of has like a, a like an Asriel theme going on, doesn't he? With the crucifix right there and just the overall look, man. He's a very nicely designed figure, man. I, I do like him. I do recommend him. Of course, this is the Gold Label Edition, so this guy's a little bit different as opposed to the original from what i can remember overall nice figure i wish he was a little bit bigger he does seem kind of a little bit short and stocky so he is at the seven inch mark um he doesn't seem like seven inches <laughs> that's what she said uh but he's at the he's at the seven inch mark but he just seems kind of short and stocky you know what i mean this Batman right here, he's at the 7-inch mark, but he has the bat ears to where it makes him look like he's 7 inches, over 7 inches. So yeah, it's definitely a 7 out of 10, guys. Let me know what you think of this uh, figure. Do you like him? Do you own him? Do you plan on picking him up? Is he is he a pickup? Do you guys, have you guys played the video game? Have you guys, uh, do you guys like the character? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Um, he's a good figure. McFarlane did an okay job. Um... Paint apps are somewhat almost clean. It's just the paint apps are just kind of lacking in some areas. So let me just let me know your thoughts in the comment section, guys. 
What do you make of this figure? We'll go ahead and leave it at that. Just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out.